I like engineering because I like technology. I feel like when I engineer, I get to create my own things that I can share with everybody. The point of the project was we wanted to teach people how to care for pets, so we decided to make a game that we would program ourselves. Last year, we made boats made out of cardboard and packaging tape. Our goal was to float a group of people inside cardboard my most significant learning experience this year was working on a solid state amplifier. I chose to do it because I thought it would be a great challenge for me to tackle and also because I just love music, I like making sounds, I also love just plugging music in, playing guitar. And reading the schematic at first was crazy, like we didn't even know what was the first steps. In my English class, we're doing like uh, different types of essays because we're getting ready for like college. For the narrative essay, mine was on what's one quality that you have that you value. And mine is like bringing like positive energy to people. And I wrote a whole essay on a time where I actually helped someone out. And then the turning out point was they actually like seen the happiness in themselves. After we actually made the essays, we would share out each one with the classmates. Someone was really touched by it and was like, you know, even though you didn't write that essay for me, I can relate to it. It was like you're helping me like your work. It was good knowing that just by writing an essay on like something I did like a long time ago, I can like also affect like other people in like a positive way. We're doing a project where we're using all of the skills from all of our classes to create a business, which is a food truck. So we came up with the idea of Real Delicious, which supports cultural understanding through food and film. We started a Kickstarter campaign and we set to raise $35,000, which after 45 or 50 days, we got all of our money. And so we have our truck, which is parked out in the parking lot. Now we're just trying to start up the business and be able to serve out of the truck. We're learning the chemistry behind foods. We're learning entrepreneurship skills, um, cooking. So this project has been really significant because it's really taught all of the students a lot about business skills, talking to professional individuals, and really being able to connect with our community. The humanity side of it would be learning about kind of like the music and the sound that comes from it. The physical side of it is actually putting the thing together, learning about schematics, learning about resistors. During the project we learned about density and mass. And first we had to all weigh our entire group together and then we would see how big our boat has to be and how strong it has to be to carry all of us. I just loved it. The fact that you could make your own game really just struck me. I never thought I could program before, and so when I began to code, I was like, oh, whoa, I can make this, I can make that happen. I can just use my imagination and do whatever I want. I would say the most common reaction where people were just really surprised. At first, when they think of it, they're like, oh, so you're just starting the project and then you're just gonna hire a chef to work in it all the time? And then when we actually explain that, all of us students got our food handlers permits and we're all gonna be working in the truck. They're actually really impressed that students can actually pull off starting their own businesses. I mean, a bunch of 15 year olds, that's pretty cool. No one in anywhere that I would think of would actually make their fourth graders potentially sink. It was just a really fun experience and we got to learn a lot of things and most of the time you didn't even know that you were learning. It's more than just reading, writing, and math. Everyone's able to like express their creativity through the project. You're able to do what you love and you can combine that with someone else's like quality as well and then put together like an amazing project. If you just tell them what to do and you say like let's say what's one plus one and you give them a worksheet they're not going to learn very much they're just going to put everything down on that paper and they're just going to forget it the next day. Let them be kids when they're learning.